I'm just afraid my man Zeke is a lost cause. Forgive me, Mama Zeke. Forgive me. I'm just telling the truth. Last Sunday at Jerry World, I saw the future, and the future wears number 20, not number 21. I saw Tony Pollard break TD runs of 18 and 7 and then 54 to the house. I saw a thoroughbred to Zeke's plow horse. I saw voltage. I saw explosion. I saw breakaway lightning. The kind I haven't seen since really Zeke's rookie year. I saw different. I saw an NFC championship game. Now, Zeke, as you know, did lead the league in yards per game each of his first three Cowboy seasons. But every year since, down, 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 down. I am so tired of watching Dallas Cowboy teams over the last three years attempt to establish the run with Ezekiel Elliott trying to run through brick walls. Zeke for one yard. Zeke for none. Zeke for two. Zeke for minus one. Zeke for zero. Cooper Rush was stuck with Zeke. Zeke did not play last Sunday as Dak's offense exploded for 42 points. Of course, Micah Barsons gave them the other seven on that fumble return. But how much did Dak benefit from 131 yards and three touchdowns from Tony Pollard? As Dak said after the game, we call it and he hauls it. Does he ever haul you know what? Now, I realize how much this team in this locker room still believes in Zeke's warrior spirit. He will try to run through brick walls. He will play hurt. Torn knee ligaments, sprained knee ligaments. Yep, he, he will try with all his might to wear down a defense. If you give him 25 carries, he'll bang away. He will blow up blitzers. Best blitz pickup, blow up of any back in football. He has become, shockingly to me, a respected veteran leader of that football team. But for Jerry Jones to say, we still go as Zeke goes, is just plain fiction and plain wrong. Just plain damaging to the psyche of this football team. This offense will go as far as Tony Pollard carries it. Yet, the way Jerry Jones speaks, is it's as if TP still just stands for toilet paper. Jerry loves Zeke like a son. Jerry has, you could say he's, he's actually fathered Zeke through some tough times off the field. I'm sure Jerry sees some of his once wayward self in Zeke and feels like, Proud Papa thinks he's helped Zeke beat some of those demons, if not all of them. But Jerry, it is time. It's time to officially make Zeke the backup back. It's, it's time to put the ball in Tony Pollard's hands, I don't know, 25 times a game. Remember, he was, in large part, a slot receiver in college at Memphis. He can catch it. He can fly with it. He can make a miss. All the things Zeke no longer does, God bless his soul. It's time, Jerry. Tony Pollard will be a free agent after this season. You might as well at least max him out while you have him under his rookie contract. Jerry, you added no one on offense at the trade deadline. So add a Pro Bowl running back to the starting lineup. Add Tony Pollard. It's right there under your nose. Yeah, Zeke got paid. He held out three years ago in combo, excuse me, in Cabo. You folded, you buckled, you paid him. You paid him for what he had done. But for the last three years, he hasn't remotely lived up to being the NFL's highest paid running back. Jerry, it's time to swallow your pride. Jerry, it's time for you to admit you made a mistake. You overpaid Zeke dramatically. You got to let it go. You've got to give up on Ezekiel Elliott.
and Zeke to you, I'm sorry, but it is now time for Tony Pollard to TP the league. Only Tony Pollard can make this offense go the way it should go, the way it should be able to almost live up to a defense. Obviously, I say again and again, this team ultimately will go only as far as Micah and the Marauders carry this team. But can you imagine what Cooper Rush might have done if Tony Pollard had been his featured back? It is time to pass the, the torch, Jerry, while using that torch to light a new make or break fire under the seat occupied by Dak Prescott. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from the Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.